everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple and economical uh, Christmas wreath from some recycled styrofoam packaging, a little bit of ribbon, and some artificial flowers. So to begin with, I took my styrofoam packaging and the great thing about this packaging was that it already had a circle in the middle and all I really did was use a ruler to mark around the circumference of the circle and make sure that I could mark and then cut um, evenly all the way around the circle. So I marked first with my ruler and here I am using a Sharpie pen to connect the little dots that I made all around the circumference. And after I marked where I wanted to cut, I used a box cutter to go ahead and cut out the excess styrofoam. So the excess pieces that you're cutting out, you could use for other projects, uh, such as making a floral arrangement. So it's really great because you don't really have to buy floral foam. Uh, you can just use uh, the pieces of styrofoam that you may get from products that you buy. So after removing the excess styrofoam, I took some ribbon and I used a little bit of hot glue to attach it to the wreath form. And afterwards, I wrapped that ribbon around the reef to cover all of the styrofoam. Once I reached the end, I left a little bit of excess ribbon and I folded the edge before gluing. So I basically added a little bit of glue to that edge. I folded it in half so that we wouldn't have any fraying and then I glued the folded edge down to the inside of the wreath. In order to make the bow for the wreath, I took pieces of ribbon that were about three inches long and here you're going to see that I used two types of ribbon. I used the same ribbon that I covered the wreath in, but I also used a smaller uh, satin ribbon and I alternated the layers um, so that I would have some variety. And here I'm just making sure that the thinner ribbon is in the middle because I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make two cuts uh, in the center of the thicker ribbons. So in order to make the cuts, I'm just holding the ribbons and as you see, I'm not cutting all the way uh, because I do not want to cut these ribbon strips in half. I just want to make a cut that goes from the top and the bottom edges um, and maybe goes up about half an inch. And what I did is that I wrapped a thin piece of wire around the, the middle of these ribbons and uh, the cuts on both the top and the bottom are going to allow the, uh, the ribbons to be moved about so that it creates a rustic, messy sort of bow. So here I've started just rearranging the ribbons um, and there are about 
eight to nine layers of ribbon here. You could add more, you could make it with less. It's just going to depend on how, um, how robust you want your bow to be. So um, after you twist the wire, you can basically just move the pieces of ribbon around. And this would work a lot better with ribbon that has wire in, in it. So in this case, this the ribbon that I worked with did not have any wire, so um, it's a little bit floppy, but if you do have wired ribbon, it will actually be a lot more um, robust and it'll, it'll be fluffier once you arrange the bow. After creating the bow, I used some hot glue to attach it to the reef. If you're not very skilled at making bows, you could always purchase one that's ready made or you could recycle one that maybe you've received with a gift. And aside from decorating the reef with a bow, I'm adding uh, pine cones and also some artificial greenery. Uh, so this is actually for me, it's the most fun part of the project. And it's really where you could be as creative as you like. You could definitely make the reef very simple um, if that's your taste, or you could uh, definitely add many different artificial flowers, pine cones, ornaments, all sorts of uh, different decorative touches. So you can really make it your own. At first, I was going to keep it simple, but I decided that I wanted to add a little more color since my color scheme was very neutral. So I found some old uh, artificial flowers from Dollar Tree. And uh, I basically added some artificial flowers, um, some berries, and it gave the reef a little nice pop of color. And here is a close-up of the finished product. Thank you so much for watching the video to the end. Please let me know in the comment section if you tried this project and if you have any tips or ideas that you'd like to share. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful and blessed rest of your day.